Hi friends, welcome back to Angular project series with the JSON server. So I already discussed about the 4-5 videos and we completed this listing and this add option, right? So you can see all the video from my playlist and link are provided inside the description section, right? So last day we have completed this addition section. One thing is missing, we can't see any success message after saving the data, okay? So in this video, we're going to discuss about the small small thing which you basically need in your every application, right? So now if you just check here, that is suppose Mark Henry and email is mark at the rate email dot com. So you can see the data is submitted. So the no success message and the field is still fill with the name and email but if you just go in the server so we can see uh, to reload this will get the value that means we are getting the value inside this station server right so here we need to do we need to set a alert so whenever we'll click on the submit and if the value is submitted then we'll display simply alert and we can close that alert and we will remove this value after submit right so as we are using the bootstrap so we can just go to the gate bootstrap.com and search any alert so this is alerts so i need alerts with a cross button so after success message displaying we will just manually click and it will hide right so just we don't need okay so we can see there is a success message and it is the cross button right so this is yellow but we can change the color so just copy these things and just go to the add student component dot html okay so just paste this here and as it is alert and alert warning that is the class so we can make change that is into success so it will go into the green so if you just go to the browser we can see this is displaying right and this is actually the close button so just go here so we can see this is actually the close button right but this button is not appearing properly okay so let's use this one and uh, we can make change so just go visual studio code and here i am just writing simply x right and we don't need this button close class right so now just go here we can see a simply cross button right so whenever we'll click on this it will display it will hide this message okay so right now when we are going here and it's automatically showing this message every time but i need only that time when we will submit the form so how we can do this so we need to add a condition so if we submit value then it will appear so first of all how we can check this so just go to the add student component dot ts file right so we don't need this student service ts just closing this uh, module.ts just closing this so here i will set a default flag by default it will display as false so that it will not display and we will add a true condition when the submit okay so actually this is the condition when we calling the apis and we need to close this after successfully getting subscribed okay so i am just closing this and here i am declaring any properties that is suppose my property is message okay and the message will be as simply i am taking this as a boolean right and by default these are false okay and we'll use this message to display or hide our alerts so here just write this dot message equal to false false so when we will submit this it will call and after getting the output it will become the false right sorry it will be true okay so now if we just go here now apply this property 
into the add student component dot html so here we'll just add a simple condition i will write if condition that is ng if if the value is present inside the here we will get the output otherwise it will not so just go to the browser so we can see we are not getting the message again but when we enter a value suppose i am entering value john Cena and write john at the rate email.com so just click on submit it's appearing right now now the thing is the close button is not working so we need to work this also so just create a functions on the button so we'll write a click event so on click we'll call a functions into the typescript file so just create a click event and suppose my method name is remove message right and you will create this function into the typescript file so just go here and remove message so when we'll click on this we will make this message as false so it will not display again so write this message equal to false right so now if we just go here we can see the value is not displaying and here just and here just i'm entering another name it is goldberg and the name is sorry email is gold at the rate email.com so just click on submit so we can see the message and click on this it will gone okay so i need to modify this actually so it will just modify that is success and here just write student edit okay so it looks cool okay and when we will submit after the submit we need the field also the empty okay i'm going to use this so after saving the save student data and after calling the save student data we will just remove the fields also so write this and here my things is add student so just use add student dot reset okay and inside the reset we will just passing the blank object okay now if we check this we can see suppose this is the name suppose the name is harry porter and email is harry at the rate email dot com and just click on submit so we are getting success student edit also the field became blank and if you click on this button it will disappear okay so this is very simple and you can use this inside your any application and it's very needful things right so if you have any queries about this video please comment in a below comment section next day we'll going to show you the edit option and delete option right so we have completed the list part and the add student part so next day we'll going to edit and delete so right we will create actions and we'll create a edit button and actually this edit student is not needed we'll edit this from the listing page we'll do this in the next video so please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video have a good day